So I think what's really nice about school status is it's not necessarily another thing to put in front of us. It can replace several things in one. My name is Danny Harrison. I'm an eighth grade math teacher and I've been in education for six years. We have grown to over 33,000 students. Um, we have 42 schools. I'm Lucy Hasselman. I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Accreditation and Advanced Academics for DeSoto County Schools. Um, for me, where I'm at here at Lewisburg, this school um, I think does a very good job at communicating with parents. We all feel like it's a priority. Um, we like to share ideas. So when one of us finds something that works, we share it with the others and then it's like a ripple effect around here. People are like, oh, I want to do that or I like the idea. I'm Emily Frazier and I teach 8th grade science. On a Friday, we may have to send out uh, performance updates to our parents. So you'll have a couple of us walking out after maybe like 10 minutes and they're like, hey, did you get your performance stuff done yet? I'm like, yeah, I just sent it out in school status. And so like, you're done already? So then you open that conversation like, yeah, let me help you get out on a Friday a little bit earlier. The design of it is designed to think about what does a teacher need to help her kids be more successful. A teacher needs to communicate with their parents. A teacher needs to be able to communicate on a grander scale as well as an individual scale. A teacher needs to be able to access data quickly to make good decisions about where to take a child in their future. With the COVID changes, with everything that's happened, it's been a really difficult year for teachers and I was not in any way going to mandate anything that they did or did not have to use. My name is Wendy Michael and I am the principal here at Hernando Hills Elementary. I think going through the national board process really taught me the importance of communication. It creates a spark when one teacher does it in a building. And at first everybody was really reluctant. We're not doing anything new. This is a crazy year. Please don't make me learn anything else. And um, But as the year progressed and we would just kind of let them know, well, you can do that through this um, through school status. You can track your uh, messages. You can have all of the documentation that you need right there. So it, it kind of built throughout the year and now I have a lot of teachers who use it very often. Our number one job is to build relationships with our students. I've had parents to be super receptive to um, things like emojis and things. I love it. Like it's nice to be uh, a person. It humanizes the interaction. But my favorite thing to do is to call a parent for something good. Um, so you, you tend to get that negative thing going on a lot in calling parents and so after I make so many negative phone calls, I'll make a positive and there is nothing better in the world than calling a parent going, hey this is Miss Frazier, your child science teacher and of course they're immediately thinking the worst obviously and you're like, I just want you to know how proud I am of your kid and um, how great they're doing in class. And, always a good thing for me as well as them. I think that one of the things that we really really strive for is the collaboration and partnership between the schools and the parents and being able to have this streamlined communication it really helps facilitate that like we're able to reach you you can reach us and we the communication is way more effective and efficient. I'll tell you during the virtual time it was a necessary facet that we use here to communicate with our parents just keeping them updated on what's going on what changes are happening. Um, parents love their kids and they want what's best for their kids and the more we can communicate with them and get information out to them quickly, um, the, the happier they are. I have students that come in and say, I know you texted my mama last night, I'm going to be even better today. And so you have those moments where you're communicating, the parents are relaying the message and everybody's on the same page. And so those are really great moments and even when it's a not so great message like, man you really called my mama last night like oh, like I'm, let her know that I did good today and I'm like okay I can send a good text message today now like you know make sure that you do what you need to do so it really impacts the classroom culture having that conversation going open communication and then there's accountability for the students as well.